Hello everybody, it's ZDS here, bringing you guys another quick little tutorial video. Uh, this is going to be, if you can't tell by the title, how to use a N64 emulator on your Android phone. So, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Google Play Store. You're going to want to search up Moopin64 and download this emulator right here. I've already got it installed, but this is where you download it. It's a free emulator, so it's very easy to download. It's only about 9 megabytes, so it shouldn't take up too much space on your phone. And of course, um, you're going to need to get a ROM for it, of course, which you can go to Emu Paradise or any other ROM, any ROM you want to use. I'm going to be uh, showcasing a, a Banjo-Kazooie ROM. So I downloaded that from my computer and I put it in here. And uh, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to map a Switch Joy-Con to the N64 emulator. Because if we boot up the emulator right here, we can see that the uh, interface is a little bit wonky. So... Let me turn the volume up on this thing. Yeah, you can see this is this is runs perfectly smoothly, <clears throat> but the interface is kind of a problem because you can see here that the Z and the R buttons are up here, so you can't exactly move the control stick with the uh, with your thumb while also doing the Z button unless you do some very complicated little finger gymnastics here. But whoops! Oh, I entered the save file. My bad. Oh well. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. So if you're going to want to do is, whoops, not that. You're going to want to go back here. You're going to want to exit the game. If you want to stop playing, you're going to scroll down here to input or tools, I believe. No, not tools. Where is it? Profile settings. Settings. There we go. Go to input and then scroll down here. You can see that. Hold on. I might be an idiot. Hold on, let me let me let me figure this out real quick here. I thought I knew what I was doing. Apparently not. Sorry, you go to M, you go to profiles and go to controller. I already have it selected, but you can go ahead and add new. Give it any name you want and just say joy. Just because. Okay, and then go okay. Now what you're gonna want to do is after you do that, turn on your Bluetooth and select the Joy-Con, which this is the right Joy-Con, and then press any button on the Joy-Con if you've already got it paired. If not, go ahead and press this little button right here until it pairs. Now, of course, that will allow us to control the, um, that'll allow us to control the, the phone with the Joy-Con, but then just go ahead and select an input on the key mapping uh, screen, and then just select the input on your phone, or on your um, controller. So I'm going to exit out of here and go ahead to my library again and show you guys this little baby Merkin in action. I've already mapped it, so let's show you a little bit of Banjo Kazooie. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video and skip past this section because I accidentally deleted the save file like a freaking moron, so get you guys back here in a sec. Okay, so that was pretty quick. I uh, just wanted to get through the main sequence, and as you can see now, we, uh, we're controlling Banjo using the Joy-Con. So yeah, this is pretty much the only way to be able to play a Banjo-Kazooie with uh, a Switch controller. And as you can see, there's basically no lag whatsoever. Uh, I can't leave a link to the emulator or the ROM itself because of copyright reasons, but go ahead and search the internet. I'm sure you guys can find it somewhere. Let's go ahead and get all my moves and show those off real quick before I end the video. Just so I'll show you guys that it works. And I always press B for this because I don't, I already know the moves, so I don't really want to relearn them. When I first played the game, I thought that that actually made it to where you can't um, get the moves. So you go to the freaking top of the mountain without the moves, but I didn't know that, you know. But yeah, there we go. And there's a slight bit of input lag, which is only really noticeable when it comes to jumping. And I also have the uh, L and R buttons mapped to the, or uh, the left and right C buttons mapped to the, um, the Y button and the B button on the Switch gamepad, on the Switch Joy-Con. Then I have the Z button mapped to this button right here. Now, unfortunately, I did try to do this with a 
with both the Joy-Cons and it kept screwing up the button mapping so I wasn't able to do it with both of them. So that kind of sucks, but uh, for this uh, game you don't need the you don't need the L button and you also don't need the the um you don't need the L button and you also don't need the uh, D-pad. Yeah, see the input lag is kind of noticeable, but you see here that I can do it with this as well. This is this is kind of one of the ways that it actually is more helpful to use this touch screen on the on the phone instead of the uh, gamepad, or instead of the Joy-Con, I should say. It's one of the few instances where it's more helpful because the uh, input on the touch screen is immediate. But yeah, guys, that's uh, that's Banjo Kazooie on your phone. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more tutorials like this and other gaming-related videos. And don't forget to check in the description for the links to my Patreon and my Twitter and support me if you want to support me on my channel. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making you to perform one video at a time, and I will check you guys in the next video.